Oh, all right. We got a couple. Like they just sitting down in the underneath the stairs. Okay, we got two sets. Yeah, I got a lady set. Oh, cool. All right, all right. That's cool. How much are you asking for that? What's up, YouTube? It's Casey, also known as the Carolina Thrifter here on YouTube. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you all my past yard sale footage from this weekend. I took my kids with me. So it was kind of, of a challenge, but not too bad. I picked up some cool items I'm sharing with you. Some of this stuff is bolo items that you can find at yard sales to flip online on eBay and whatever platform you want to sell on for some decent profit. So guys, I'm going to jump into the yard sale video. And if you like it, please hit the like button. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, subscribe for future content. I do try to bring at least two videos a week. But anyway, guys, jump into it and check out what we found. Hey, how y'all doing? How much for the fridge? Might be too much. 25. 25? It's not bad. I thought it's it's old, but it still works. If you want me to plug it in and show it works, that's not a problem. No, it's you're been fine. sitting in my garage for a few years unused, so. Okay. But look we bought a bigger garage fridge, so we don't need it. I want one for my my patio, so I might, there you go. I might buy how much for your dumbbells? Um 20 for the set. Okay. Might buy that too. 20 for the yeah. Those are huge. But that's nice because it's not as heavy. Like the one that was. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know it, yeah, even though they're old and rusted, they're still brand new. They're 40 a yeah. shot for one of them. So, so I do 40 for both of them. Okay. I can do that. <clears throat> Alright guys, so anytime I see weights or dumbbells, I do pick them up. Especially the cast iron square hexagons here. 40 pound dumbbells, 20 bucks for these. I mean, pick them up if you can. They are very heavy. These things, I'll throw a soul comp in the screen here. They're not in my house because I'm just going to put them in the garage. They're very heavy. Soul comps in the screen on these, I think, are over $100 plus and plus shipping. I'll probably sell them locally to avoid the shipping costs. But anytime you see dumbbells, especially the bigger ones, pick them up. They are worth a lot of money. Hey, Bailey. What's up, girl? You guard my refrigerator? All right, guys. So if you can see, I got the refrigerator here plugged in on my patio just like I said I wanted on my patio i mean it works really well so we got this thing working it's cooling so got some gatorade in there so it looks like it worked out pretty good so happy with that buy this thing actually sells for like a 100 bucks on, on used on ebay plus shipping so it's probably worth 100 bucks if i sold it locally on the marketplace so not too bad for spending 20 bucks on that okay, like you mentioned I've, they just sitting down in the underneath the stairs okay we got two sets yeah i got a lady set oh cool all right, all right. That's cool. How much are you asking for that? Hundred dollars for a bag and all. It was like, a, if I remember correctly, it was like a three fifty set. Are you firm at a hundred on these? Yeah. Okay. I'll do. This. Let me look. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. Good deal, man. I appreciate it. Not a problem. Here you see I have a Callaway set here. I did ask him if he had golf clubs and he said he did and he brought out this. I mean, I unzipped it and here we are a Callaway set that I've never seen before in my life. And I've seen a lot of golf clubs and this mimics the Callaway, looks like the, the X series. They're called the Extremes. And I don't know, I was totally thrown off a little bit by this because they look fake. I mean, Callaway doesn't really make fake golf clubs. He said he bought them at Dick's. And I looked these up and they, they do sell these. I mean, these things right here sell for like 300, I'm sorry, a used set of these sell for like 100, 150 for just the iron set. I mean, we got the driver, the five wood, we got the four hybrid probably under there and this is going to be the three wood. <clears throat> so I was a little hesitant on the $100, but he has an Odyssey putter in here. This is the white ice putter. This putter itself will probably go from anywhere from 50 on the low end to 100. I mean, it's a real good shape. I mean, I like this putter. Actually, I thought about maybe using it, but it's a two ball putter. Of course, if you don't know, Odyssey is a really good brand to pick up in golf clubs, and just like Callaway is, but this set did look kind of fake. But looks like it's gonna sell pretty good, and you got the stand bag, so I probably got at least $300 in value here, because I said the comps on these, these irons right here run about 150, and that's not including the driver in the woods and the hybrid, and then we got a decent putter in here and a stand bag that should have get at least $50. So I'm not regretting that buy. I think it was a good one. Hey, how you doing? Hey. How much for your toolkit? Um, I don't know. Crap. Can you 
come down here. How much for your shoes? Two dollars. Two dollars. Okay. Might grab some fans, get some Clarks. These look cool. We got a full cool design. How much for your hats? I don't know. How's uh, it there? Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? All right, doing good. Asking about your tools. Okay. Yeah. And how much is that thing? Two dollars, I would say. <laughs> All right. Do so you take two dollars for the for each hat? Uh, you want all of them? I might buy one um, of the Patagonias. Probably just a dollar in the Patagonia because they're used. Okay. Two I'll, buy, the I'll buy both of them then. Okay. What is this one? This is a beanie stocking. Um, How much for your green light? I got it. Yeah. 25. 25, okay. Yes. Never even opened. I got two I know. of them, so. I might do it. Let me look at your other stuff. Tell me about this. It's not like I'm stealing it. You don't have any golf clubs for sale, do you? I do not, man. I sure don't. Uh, it's okay. Oh, craftsman thing. Oh, there's an assortment of different tools. Okay. At garage so i did score some pretty decent stuff so first thing we did score was some shoes anytime i see vans i get interested in them and when i see a floral print like that i mean for two bucks i'm gonna buy it i don't know what these go for but i know you can look it up in here and find the number so i'll try to find it and throw you a soul comp in the screen that way you can get a little you know idea of the value for that but vans really good brand to pick up especially with the designs on them next we got or three hats of course if anybody doesn't know back in the 90s or the 80s we had the dare program i know i was a part of it keep kids off, off of drugs so this hat may be a remake but it still goes for like 20 bucks and then most people know the panagonia brand i mean they're only a dollar a piece got some sweat staining on it but i'm sure to clean up but these things still go for like 15 to 20 bucks a piece on ebay even a used shape so with free shipping so not too bad for picking these up for a dollar and this for two so you'll see a little profit not getting rich off of that but the home run hitter here was the tools anytime you see a guy with his tools out you definitely want to stop by and check it out i don't like testing out a whole lot of tools but if you see stuff like this brand new never been opened i mean it's a green lee manual knockout punch kit i don't know anything about this i've never used this type of tool but the soul comps on this are running about 150 to 200 dollars, i believe for used ones so i'll throw the comp in the screen here for you but I paid $25 for that, the asking price, and I'm not regretting that at all. So definitely a lot, you know, pretty decent money in that. And then some stuff here. Okay. Let's go. Let's go five bucks. Look at all these shapes. Two bucks. <laughs> oh, the sketchers go wrong. Those are cute. Yeah, they are. <laughs> two bucks. These are new. Yeah. Oh, those are new. We have two, two pairs of these. Yeah. yeah. I was just trying to see if they're. No doubt. Like That's cool. I need to try them on though without. They want 10 for the new ones, which I don't blame them. Yeah, these are too big for me. Here's a size when they're used, but these are nines. Yeah, they're too big. These are nines as well, but they're adorable. I might get them. Yard sale, I did pick up two more pair of shoes here. So if you do not know, this brand here, Hoka, is a really good brand to pick up. These things are very expensive new. Uh, I want to say, you know, range in between $150, $200 for a pair. These are the Bondi 6s, not worth as much, but still in used shape. These things right here will go for about $50 to $60. And see, the bottoms look like they have plenty of good wear life left. So definitely should see some profit out of that. Guys, I'm telling you, that is a big bolo name to look after if you're at garage sales. I see them a lot, thrift stores and garage sales. And in this case, for two bucks in this shape, I should have no problem getting 60 bucks for these. I even wear these myself. These right here have cured my plantar fasciitis that I have for about six to eight months. Once I started wearing Hoka Bondi 6, 
pair of shoes of my size, I did cure it. So they are very popular and they're very com comfortable to wear. Also got these Skechers. I don't know what they're worth yet. I need to look them up. But they had this little cool like cat print on there. So that's why anytime I see prints on shoes, they have a decent name like I showed you in the Vans. I do pick them up. So look, two bucks. Can't beat that. So I got those for two bucks and those for two. And should see some decent profit out of both of them. Oh, some of those. Out of pair though. Oh yeah, some narrows for 10 bucks. We have 10 bucks for that. We gonna get these. Who has the Merrells? That's sure. Would you take five for them? Uh, no, they're brand new, so okay. I'm at 10 right now. That's cool. I Thank can do, you. I'll do 10 on it. Okay. All right, guys, so we got another shoe pickup here for $10. Yes, I had to pay $10. I did try to get them for five. We were at a yard sale, so I had to try to negotiate on everything I try, you know, they have because, you know, they may even just don't care. They're going to donate it. But anyway, guys, down to it. Merrill was a good name to pick up if you already didn't know that. They are in brand new look, light condition. I don't think they've ever been worn, so I probably can list these as brand new. Um, 10 bucks. I want to say these probably comp about $40, $50. Just for clarity, I will throw the comp in the screen here for you. But guys, anytime you see a Merrill, pick them up if they're cheap. You know, 10 bucks or less. If you can see, I think I made a great decision on that one. So, decent pickup. It warmed up very quick. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, Is this for sale? Yeah. yeah. Okay. See the light. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I might get that. Let's jump out there for that. I told my little girl she's got to get something. And I bought Big Brother something. Can't forget that. How much for this? Uh, just 50 cents. 50 cents? Alright. Sure. Well, I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> I'll give you a dollar. Alright. That works. Actually. I got you Elsa. You want Elsa? Yay! Say thank you, Daddy. Well guys, that's the end of today's video. I do appreciate y'all watching. If y'all got some good information out of today's video, please don't forget to smash that like button. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, please hit the subscribe button for future videos. But anyway, we'll see you on the next one. See ya.